One of the problems I know people have with everything in life these days is there's just too many wires. So we can't do much about the wires connecting you know, the matrix coordinates together. Those are going to have to stay. But you don't necessarily need to connect over USB to get your computer to talk to the Display Displayduino anymore. There's a little uh, radio called an XB. 2.4 gigahertz, it's the same spectrum of uh, radio space that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi use. You don't need a license to use them. Those modules cost about $25 a piece. So you need two of them to get the communication going. And we have a little add-on board for the Displayduino that will allow you to hook up two of them to your display window. So I'm just going to demonstrate one right now. We plug the board into our display window while the power is off. You can try it while the power is on, but I make no guarantees. Put the little radio module in. And now I'm going to head over to the computer. Attached to my computer here, I have a little board. Shut that over the camera. With an XB module and the little circuit board underneath, hook it up to USB. And that's avail available from SparkFun Electronics, a couple other places. It's uh, pretty easy to get. So I'm going to go into my Arduino software here. I realize most of you can't see this. But normally what I do is I take a USB cable, I go over to the uh, display Reno board, and I would, uh, that's really distracting, <laughs> hook up the USB cable, download my new program, and then get the cable up. If you've got a complicated installation or anything like that, that gets to be really annoying, maybe a little hazardous. So what I'm going to try and do now, please note there are no wires connecting my computer directly to the installation. Make sure I'm on and I'm going to hit upload. What I've got here is a little program. Those of you who use Macintoshes might not know you have this program. It's called Quartz Composer. What it allows you to do is get video sources, image sources, things like that, drag and drop them onto a space, and then hook them up to each other. You can hook up image processing blocks, play with audio, play with video, and you don't have to write a line of code to do it. It's very powerful that way, and I've been working on, basically for the last couple days, a block for this to let you send an image out to an LED matrix board. Just to give you an idea of what's going on here, we've got the camera input coming from the webcam on my uh, computer here. These two are image resizing. So this one's going to handle a preview of what the camera normally sees, so we'll be able to actually tell what it is. This one will resize down to 8x8 eight eight dots, so it fits on one LED matrix board. I'm going to show both of them side by side on the screen, so that you've got what the matrix is supposed to be showing, and then something you can actually understand what it's supposed to look like. If you look at the screen here, there's a little, mostly dark, and then my head, and then we've got a few uh, splotches over here. Those are just the dots of the actual pixels of the LEDs. And if you look at the board over there, you can actually see a few LEDs on. That's my head. <laughs> Being transmitted wirelessly over to the display window equipment and then over to the LED matrix. I move up and down here, and you can see more of the LEDs turn on and sit down or turn off. If only somebody would have invented this, say, close to 100 years ago. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> <laughs> but now we can uh, use this technology. We can set up installations where you don't have wires hooked up to your computer equipment to drive your displays, to drive your motors. And one other thing we're working on is the ability to hook up. I think I've got the circuit board here. This little circuit board is designed so you can have your display Duino separate from your actual uh, matrix board installation and have that hooked up over XB as well. What this will also allow you to do is have a set of matrix boards in one area and a set of matrix boards in another area 
with a couple of these in place and one display Lino controlling it, or one of these little spark fun boards controlling it. So you can split up your installation, not have wires going everywhere, creating a tripping hazard and generally forgetting what they're supposed to do. So that's the uh, new stuff we're working on. And uh, if you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to take them. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.